In this video lesson, we'll learn how to use Bootstrap Grid by laying out a number of different columns so you can start to use Bootstrap column widths to design websites. So let's take a look at it from the bottom. We'll go from a single column spanning the whole page to two columns, three columns, four columns, six columns, and then at the top we have 12 columns. So as you can see, the 12 columns are going to drop to six columns when we get to a certain break point. Then we'll go to three columns followed by two columns, and then eventually we'll get down to a single column width as you can see here, and we're gonna cover all of the different breakpoints when you can change the widths of your websites. So in the description of the video will be the completed version of this tutorial as you can see here with the HTML document. We'll be going over the document in the free text editor called Sublime Text that you can see in the background. And then I'm also going to have it open in Google Chrome while we're going over the Bootstrap Grid layout. Okay, so let's start from the top of the document. We have our doc type HTML, our HTML language English. Then inside of the head section, we have our character set UTF-8, which is standard. And then we have content with device with initial scale one for mobile devices, followed by the title of the website, how to use Bootstrap Grid. And then beneath that, we have the latest version of bootstrap.css, uh, then the latest version of jQuery, followed by the latest version of popper.js, which is recommended for Bootstrap, and then bootstrap for uh, JS. So we're not going to be laying out any styles here, but we have an internal style here showing us all of the breakpoints as well as a, a class here for bootstrap columns and rows to add a little bit of extra, extra uh, padding in between the columns as you can see here when we're on the mobile version. Okay, so above that as you can see we have um, all of the different breakpoints and then as we scroll down let's move on to the first section here which is the 12 column bootstrap grid so once we flex up past 1200 pixels we'll see that all of the 12 columns are going to a display for us so the smallest version is XS or extra small in bootstrap which is anything less than 576 pixels all the way up to XL which is extra large in bootstrap which means you're over 1200 pixels in width okay so down here we have XL 1 taking up 1 12th of the 12 column bootstrap layout so bootstrap breaks down into 12 columns and basically you just want to divide into 12 to get your different column widths. So then we have the large screen here at 992 pixels and it says call LG2. So each column is going to take up two out of the 12 column grid layout making up six different columns. Then the next column that we get to is call MD4. So divide 4 into 12 and we get three different columns. So once we get down to the 768 pixel mark at the medium screen, we have three different columns laying out for us. Then if we go down and scale down to one more breakpoint, we're at the 576 pixel mark here for small screens. And right here we're saying at the 576 mark with the SM for small, we want them to be in uh, take up six columns so divide six into twelve and we have two columns then anything under 576 we have it displaying at one column so we don't need to reference that inside of our div class for the columns because by default it will take up one column so now let's move down to the second uh, bootstrap grid down here which is bootstrap six column grid system so we'll start at the small screen here. So once we get up to 576 pixels, it's going to change to two columns with each taking up six out of the grid system. Then let's scroll up to 768 pixels where it says MD4. And similar to the 12 column layout, we have it displaying at three column widths. 
Okay, and then once we flex up to um, 992 pixels with col LG2, we have six different columns displaying because we've divided uh, 2 into 12. Okay, so if we were to flex this up one more, as you can see, it's going to stay at six columns because we haven't designated a width for the extra large screens at 1200 pixels. So now for the Bootstrap 4 column grid system, at the medium mark here or anything above 768 pixels, we have uh, four columns displaying. Then underneath 768 pixels but above 576 pixels, we have two columns displaying. As you can see here for Col SM6 for the 576 mark. And then anything under 576 by default, we have it at a single column. So now let's move down to the Bootstrap 3 column grid system that you can see here. And basically the only one that we have here is Col MD4. So it's not going to change until we get up to 768 pixels and then it's going to display as a three column width since four goes into 12 three times. Okay, and then we have the bootstrap two column grid system. So at 768 pixels, it's gonna change from one column to two columns at col MD6. As you can see here. And then at the very bottom, we have the uh, single column width, which is simply col-12. So the interesting thing about col-12 is it's going to be the same thing as having col xs12 for extra small. And if we go back and we refresh, we're not going to see any change here. And then it's also going to be the same thing as col XL12. So both, both at uh, XS, as I said, and XL12, it's going to stay the same as a one column width, no matter if we start from the smallest screen width or the largest. Okay, so that does it for the Bootstrap Grid tutorial. Please go ahead and download the uh, Bootstrap Grid index.html file from the video description and play around with it to come up with your own website widths. So I want to thank you for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.